Welcome to Deseret News Rewind, the schedule and picks video, yeah. by the way. We'll be bringing you our quick picks. That's brought right. to you by the Utah Army National Guard. Yeah, and for those of you who are trying to figure out how you're going to pay for education, you want to try to better your life, check out the National Guard to find out how you can earn up to $20,000 in education, educational assistance from the Utah Army National Guard, you can visit www.nationalguard.com. All right, let's get right into it. This schedule this week is, it's an interesting one here in yeah. the state of Utah. We've got some teams that are on buys. we got some teams that are out of state. Um, some of us will be out of state this weekend That's as right. well. We could watch that uh, Logan game. But uh, let's jump into this. I mean, Orem and Alta. Orem finally gets their first win of the season. Alta... Tough week against Sky Ridge, but a big game against Desert Hills. Both these teams playing pretty decent, though. Yeah, and I think you you know we're going to learn a lot about these two teams this week. I mean, for Orem, how healthy are they? How's the quarterback progression coming? Having to break in a lot of new pieces on that offense. I mean, when you think about that state championship team last year, graduated receiver, graduated quarterback, and running back's been dinged up. So I think a lot of pieces still being figured out on both sides. Uh, it's going to be a real interesting one at Alta. We're going to have that game for you right here on Deseret News Rewind. Springville at Maple Mountain. Boy, a real interesting one. We talk about in our video this week, every team in Region 3 has a winning record. Springville, Maple Mountain. You talk about Springville. Hey, should we just start calling them the comeback kids? I mean, they just know how to score late in this ball game. Murphy completing 61% of his passes this year. Uh, five touchdowns, only two interceptions. Tyler Nielsen. For Mount, Maple Mountain, he's, he's, really he's slinging it. He is, yeah. And he's cut down the turnovers a little bit, but, boy, he's slinging the football. This is going to be a really, really fun one. And Maple Mountain goes either way. I mean, they're against PG, they're throwing the ball all over the place, scoring yeah. a lot of points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this last weekend is a little tougher start against Timpanogos, but able to pull out the win. So it's just interesting to see which Maple Mountain team will show up. Yeah. And you're right, Springville will keep that game close. Last year, this was a shootout game. Yep. Um, AF at East. Man, this is going to be fun, huh? AF coming off a disappointing loss this last week. They're going to be focused. Maddox, hey, look, he can throw the ball all over the field, but if there's one thing that East does, it's really try to lock down an opposing offense and try to take that away, keep American Fork, that offense, on the sideline. This is a rematch of a first-round playoff game, what, two years ago, I think it was? Yeah. Because um, I was there. And uh, you look at these East Leopards, Nick Session, one of the real dynamic athletes in the state this year, Isaac Zimmerman, the quarterback, I think East, you know, still still replacing some of the pieces, still figuring out, having everything come together, gel a little bit. But this is going to be a really physical ball game. It's going to be a fun one. Two contrasting styles, and we'll see which one's able to play to their tempo. Probably going to be the one that is able to pull out the yeah. win. Downing versus Session will be a pretty decent that will be matchup. Fun, huh? uh, how about this one off the beaten path a little bit? Duchesne, Duchesne yeah. at Milford. Boy, this is going to be a really good one. Duchesne, both teams undefeated in this one. I, I want to say they played in the semi. No, I think I don't think they did play in the semi last year. Oh, they did yeah. not. Um, but Duchesne, this has been like the team in lower classifications in the state, right? 1A, they dominated for years and have come up short in the playoffs the last couple of years. Milford, they've got the target on the back. Everyone who watches this show knows about Bryson Barnes, right? Milford, high-scoring offense, maybe gave up. Some more points that people thought they would against uh, Ogden last week. Can the Milford defense lock down that Duchesne offense? That's going to be the real key. If Duchesne's able to keep Bryson Barnes off the field, Eagles have a shot. It's going to be very interesting to watch that one. The e Eagles versus Tigers in that one. Yeah. Uh, Green Canyon, Box Elder. Boy, really fun one here. How about the start for Green Canyon this year? Been solid. Start for Box Elder this year. Yeah. They've been really good. Defeated Bear River. They look to be a strong Mountain contender. Crest last week. Yeah, they look to be a strong contender in Region 5. I think this is a little bit off the radar game, but a really good one up north. And then the, here's the interesting one. The 3-0 and o Farmington Phoenix. Hey. Yeah, against... Uh, well, Lone Peak, we don't know if they're 3-0 and yet. They're playing on a Saturday. Yeah, so 2-0 yeah. uh, and Lone Peak, possibly 3-0 and Lone Peak. We're going to learn about Farmington this week. We said it about Kearns last week, right? This is going to be the first real test for Farmington. Coach Coates has had three weeks to kind of help that. All those returning starters gel, get in. Tell you what, 35 nothing over Ridgeline. you got to be feeling pretty good about Farmington, where that program's going right now. It doesn't get any easier. They're playing the best, maybe the second best team in the state of Utah on the road this week. Wyatt Everton going to have to be sharp, going to have to not turn the ball over against what might be the best defense yeah. in the entire state. That was. It's going to be very interesting. Yeah. Talk about measuring stick games. There is your measuring yep. stick and see how yep. good you are. All right, let's pick them from bottom to top. We stopped, we stopped with Farmington Lone Peak. We'll start there. Farmington Lone Peak. Yeah, I mean, for me, I think Lone Peak has the edge here. Typically, I side with defense against really good offense. I think the Lone Peak defense causes fits. Their pass rush up front, I don't know if Fotu's back. They know he's coming back. 
but I've seen that pass rush. With Nate Ritchie in the backfield, I got Lone Peak. Yeah, I'm going to go Lone Peak as well. Farmington's a great start. First of all, interclassification yeah. game. Lone Peak knows who they are. Farmington's kind of figuring that yeah, out. Yeah. Still, even though they're 3-0, Sometimes you're 3-0, like, wow, we're 3-0. Yeah. And you got to figure that out. I'm going to go with Lone Peak. Green Canyon, Box Elder. Really sneaky game. But you know what, Dusty? I think Box Elder, I'm going to go with the Bs on this one. And for no other reason, because there are games that have been played this year where I was like, I don't know if Box Elder wins that. <laughs> right. And they do. So I'm starting to believe in the old Bs of Box Elder. All right, I'll go Green Canyon All in right. this one. The way we're opposite yeah, yeah, on yeah. some of this yeah. stuff. Yeah, we'll go opposite there. All right, Duchesne at Milford. Is there any doubt? <laughs> no. I mean, you know, well, like, I would have milk and cookies with my favorite quarterback <laughs> up at Fremont. I don't know. You know, Bryce and maybe we'll go grab pizza or something. But I got to go with the Tigers, man. Dude, pizza joint in Milford? We have to figure that out. All right, we'll go. I'll, I'll bring go, it. I'm going Milford, too. Right. Really, I should have you know, oh, never mind. I can do that. That's kind of mean. But, uh, yeah, I'll go Milford okay. as well. Absolutely. AF and East. Yeah, boy, this is a tough one. Um, you know, just thinking styles, and I'm probably going to have a coach that doesn't like me too much. I'm going to go with AF. Uh, I think that we've seen AF uh, increase the physicality on both sides of the ball in recent years under Coach Beam. And um, I think you're going to see them be able to move the ball enough. But this is going to be a real close ball game. Yeah, this is a big one. And East last game didn't go the way they wanted to go. Jay Sarah didn't go the way they Actually, wanted. Actually, you know what? I'm going East. Your it's okay. okay. Luckily, it's on the turf. It's okay. You're going east. Yeah, there's rubber pellets. Okay. It, it just bounced. I'm going with east. I think they're going to control the ball. Okay. The way the Jessera game didn't go the way they wanted it to go. <laughs> but for AF, the season started as well as it could have started. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even coming all off the, the loss. All the talent replacing. Yeah. And, yeah. And I think spreading things out, making things go, I'm going to go AF. Okay. AF going up to east and getting the win up on the hill. Uh, one of us will make Coach Matt. The other one won't. All right. Springville, Maple Mountain. <laughs> Boy, really fun one here, right? I'm going to go with Springville. I think they're more tested. And quite frankly, I know they're going to score with inside of 30 seconds left. So they just got to keep it within one <laughs> possession inside the last minute, and then they're good. Yeah, I, I'm kind of I'm with you. Maple Mountain's toughest game, they didn't play their best game. They played really well, just didn't play their best yeah. game. I'm going to go, I'll go with, uh, with Springville as well. I think that defense is really, really good. Spanish Fork and Provo. We didn't even talk about we this didn't. one. You threw me for a loop, Dusty. Yeah. I skipped it. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Okay, here, here's where I'm going to go. I think Provo's going to rebound well. This is a really good Provo yes, team. Yes, it is. And, and the fact that it was 13-7 against their rival, a team they haven't beat in almost my lifetime, uh, I think Provo's going to have a good, strong bounce back. Uh, I think they're going to be focused. And I got the Provo Bulldogs with a win against the Dons. Yeah, this is interesting because I get to watch a lot of Spanish Fork on Deseret News Rewind Live, but I got to watch the last two weeks, watch Pro Bowl, and that defense is really, really good. That yeah. offense has got a lot of pieces. Yep. Tim Few, we knew Tim Few was good. Tim Few was 0 2 going to that game. That's 0 2 against Lone Peak and AF. And great efforts, yeah. too. And by they played the way. really well yeah. in those games for the most part. Uh, I'm going to go Pro Bowl as well. Pro Bowl, folks, they're not nothing to scoff at. Yeah. This they're, really they, isn't. This they is are not legit. That, yeah. yeah. I mean, just really, Coach McGeary, Tony McGeary, one of the best coaches in the state of Utah, what he's done at Provo has been spectacular. They got a lot of support there. That school, it's not the same yeah. Provo that we've gotten to know. You look at this this program three, four years ago, and you just see what Coach McGeary's done. Right. This team is really, really good. Yeah, I'm going Provo Bulldogs as well in that one. And that leaves one last one, Orem and Alta. Oh, boy, man. Uh, you know, I don't know who's going to play in this ball game, so I'm just going to flip a coin. I, I would, except my phone's on the turf, and my coin flip app is digital. So I'm going to have to just think through this one a little bit. All right, I'll go first. I'm going to – okay, yeah, you All do right. it. So I like Orem. I think Orem's really good. I think that defense is really good. Getting thin. You're going to travel. I'll go down to Vegas, up yeah. to Idaho, back to come play Alta. I'll take Alta. Alta didn't look that bad against Sky Ridge. I would put Orem comparable to, uh, to Sky Ridge. I think Alta can get this one done. Synchro Lucero off a of bye week. I think Riley Jensen can have that offense ready to go. This is going to be a crazy good game. Either Alta wins this game in a tight one or Noah Sewell plays and this thing gets really crazy. Yeah, okay. So, um, you know, as I was thinking about this one, I'm thinking about, okay, I've seen Orem. I saw him against Corner Canyon. I thought they moved the ball really well against yeah. that Corner Canyon defense. Buju Tour Savara is, is a stud. stud. Um, I think the quarterback is going to get more familiar yeah, as the yes, season uh -huh. goes on. Uh, they've got some depth there as well. Of course, head coach is back, had a two-game suspension, so he's kind of getting back in the rhythm of yeah, things. I'm going to go with the Orem Tigers yeah. in this one. I think Orem, physically, I think they've got a lot of options on the offensive side. 
Um, I think obviously they're learning. We talked about they've got to figure out a way to replace a lot of this talent. I thought defensively, boy, they played really well against Corner Canyon. The defense did. I mean, Orem did in general. I got the Orem Tigers over Alta. All right, let's I was going to decide if that was slim or if it was a big oh, okay. I just got Orem. Yeah, we won't go Taking the Tigers. Here, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's know what you think on our game picks. Love to hear from you. And uh, I'm just so glad football's back. <laughs> for Vince Francis and Dave Stewart, I'm Dusty Lister. Thanks for joining us watching Deseret News Rewind on DeseretNews.com.